Today we have two heavy hitters on the table, the Rocket Apart Menso and the Profitech Pro 400. If you are currently shopping for an at-home heat exchanger espresso machine, you have most likely come across the Rocket Apart Mento at some point in your search. It is kind of a fan favorite, it is a great looking machine, it is made by Rocket, and it is very, very popular. However, it has been out for quite some time now, and there are some new competitors coming up, like this, the Profitech Pro 400. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you which of these two machines you should probably be considering, depending on what you value most. So stay tuned. Before we get going, a couple quick disclaimers. This is my personal Rocket Apartamento. It was one of my first ever espresso machines, and I have added a flow control modification. So if you see this lever, do not assume that it is stock. I added that aftermarket. The Profitech is on loan to me for the sake of some reviews and comparisons, so this is not a sponsored video in any way. If you want to check out either of these two machines, I will have them linked down in the description below. Let's start, as we always do, with the differences in the build quality. These are both extremely well built and they will last you a very, very long time if taken care of properly. Full stop, these are both great brands. These are both very well put together machines. It is hard to nitpick little differences in the build quality between the two of them except for one pretty glaring difference, which is the cup rails. Rocket, for some reason unbeknownst to me, has put a flimsy plastic cup rail on the Rocket Apartamento. You can buy an aftermarket metal one, which is a little bit ridiculous, but this flimsy plastic absolutely does not match the quality that you see on the Profitech. Other than that, from a form factor perspective, there are some pretty significant differences. Although both machines are compact or apartment-sized E61s, the Pro 400 is considerably smaller. When placed beside the Apartamento, you can see that it's actually a pretty striking difference, with the rocket being almost two inches wider. In terms of the design, this is arguably the reason why the Apartamento is such a hit worldwide. It is just a good-looking machine. It was one of the first heat exchangers to really step outside of the box in terms of design with this unique side panel feature where you can actually swap out the colored inserts. In comparison, the Pro 400 is a less flashy design, but it's absolutely not a bad looking machine either. The sides are brushed metal with a black accent along the bottom and polished metal pretty much everywhere else. Their touch of fun was including interchangeable discs for the steam and hot water knobs, which I do find to be a little bit gimmicky, but your mileage may vary. Obviously, aesthetics is completely subjective, however, if you want my opinion, I still think that the Rocket Apartamento's proportions and its design are undefeated. It is just an extremely attractive machine. In terms of some functional visual differences, the Profitex water tank is accessible by lifting off the entire top panel, while the Apartamentos is behind a smaller lid. Both machines have pressure gauges, but the Pro 400 shows both boiler pressure and brew pressure instead of just the boiler pressure on the Apartamento. This is important on the Profitech for a feature that we'll touch on a little bit later on. In terms of user experience, there are some critical little differences that are worth mentioning, the first of which being the water tank size. The Apartamentos is two and a quarter liters, whereas the Profitex is 2.8 liters, meaning that you're going to have to fill up this machine much less often. In terms of drip tray size, they are quite different shapes, but the capacity is around the same, and the Profitech has a clever little storage department underneath for your blind basket. In terms of boilers, the Profitech uses a 1.6 liter stainless steel boiler and a 1400 watt heating element, whereas the Rocket uses a 1.8 liter brass boiler and a 1300 watt element. People will argue day in and day out about which boiler material is better. I don't think you're really gonna notice a difference. However, what you will notice is that the Profitech heats up a little bit faster due to the smaller boiler capacity and more powerful heating element. Moving on to espresso quality is where you start to see some pretty dramatic differences between these two machines. The Rocket Apartamento is a very simple machine, and that is kind of the beauty of it. It is a mechanical heat exchanger, it is a joy to use. However, there are some new features on the Pro 400 that can have a positive impact on your espresso shots. The first of which being an automatic pre-infusion. The Pro 400 can start your shots at a lower flow rate and a lower pressure to soak and swell the puck, 
fill in any cracks and improve sweetness, which is a great feature to have in a machine in this price range. You can toggle this on and off if you want it or don't, but I would highly recommend leaving it on. On the Apartamento, you don't get this kind of control. An E61 does provide some mechanical pre-infusion, however, an automated one like this is really nice to have. And I think that's part of the reason why I opted to put a flow control valve on this machine. I wanted a slightly more gentle pre-infusion. Another big difference is the pressure that each of these machines brews at. Straight out of the box, the Profitec is at nine bars and the Rocket is at 11 for some reason. In order to adjust this, you're gonna to have to take off the top panel, dig in and adjust the OPV down in the back of the machine, which is a little bit difficult, but I highly, highly recommend you do it. On the Pro 400, not only was it set correctly out of the box, but you also have access to an OPV adjustment on the top of the machine. So if you want to play around with slightly lower brewing pressures or higher brewing pressures, you can very easily do that. The final big difference between these two machines is temperature control. The Rocket Apartamento has one set temperature, where the Profitec Pro 400 actually gives you three. The ability to change temperature on your espresso machine can be really nice, depending on what roast level and personal taste preferences you have. If you're brewing with a slightly lighter roast, you'll probably want to increase the temperature to the higher setting to help with extraction. Or if you're using a very dark roast, you can use the lower temperature to take off some of that bitterness. Either way, having this level of control is really, really nice. So. As you can see, there are some significant differences in terms of espresso and espresso quality between these two machines. Like I said, the Apartamento is beautiful in its simplicity, but just be aware that that does have some limitations on potential espresso quality. Moving on to steaming performance, these two machines are very, very similar. They both have no burn steam arms, they both have two hole steam tips, and they are overall great performers. The Apartamento does have a larger boiler, so it will have a slightly larger capacity when it comes to steaming. If you're just making one or two or three drinks at a time, you're probably not going to notice a big impact. If you're serving many, many people back to back or steaming a huge volume of milk, that extra 200 milliliters of boiler capacity could come in handy. However, when it comes to speed, at the stock setting on the Profitec, these two machines are practically equal in terms of their steaming power. Now, it is important to note that if you flip the Profitec Pro 400 into its higher temperature mode, it will steam a few seconds faster. However, unless you're doing a very large volume of milk, I don't really recommend doing that because then you'll have to cool it back down before brewing your next espresso shot. Overall, both these machines can steam excellent milk. They both have great steaming quality, and I wouldn't really choose one over the other based on the steaming performance. So which one of these two machines should you buy? I personally think that you could be very happy with either of these machines based on what you value most. The Rocket Apartamento is a very simple, beautiful, iconic machine that you cannot really fault except for the fact that for the money, you can get a more capable machine, a more modern machine like the Pro 400. With temperature control, pre-infusion, an adjustable OPV, it is simply a more modern package, a more complete package, and you're getting it for less money. So if what you're concerned about is purely bang for your buck, getting the best value and the best espresso for your money, the Pro 400 is the clear winner in this comparison. However, in the world of espresso, I don't think that there is anything wrong with going with something that speaks to you, something that is charming, and if that is where you're at, then the Rocket Apartamento is a great option. So, I will have both of these machines linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.